Alright guys, welcome back. This We are now on part two of our uh, unlock fest for Shattered Timelines. So this time we're going to go after one of the harder unlocks in the game, and that is uh, the Freedom 6 Wraith variant. Now, in order to unlock her, uh, what we need to do is we need to have her in the lead, and we have to fight against the Chairman. <laughs> and not only do we have to fight against the Chairman, who is already hard enough to begin with, the Wraith has to deal the killing blow to both the Chairman and the Operative over the course of the game. So, this one might take a few tries. So let's bring a team to back her up. Um, while we're here, we're also going to try and unlock Absolute Zero, because he is... this is also doable with him. Absolute Zero uh, unlock condition is that you have to get all four of his equipments into play, and then destroy them over the course of the game, and he must survive to the end. So this... So basically, we need to keep both of these guys alive, and Wraith needs to finish off both the Chairman and the Operative. So let's bring them a support team. Um, we need some good AoE uh, and acceleration. Well, we've got Team Leader Tachyon, so let's show just how broken she is. And uh, it's for AoE. Uh, Chrono Ranger actually does some pretty good... AoE. Well, not so much AoE, but just constant damage, and Chrono Ranger loves his bard effects, so let's bring along Legacy. And as for where we will be fighting the Chairman, um, let's go... Environment doesn't matter, so let's go to somewhere that's not going to horrifically screw me. Uh, hmm. Eh, let's just go to the block. Interplanetary prison. Why not? Alright, so starting off, we have the chairman and the operative. The chairman is not present. And he's already... Uh, all damage is reduced by two, sure. And no inmates are allowed to be in play. Okay. And we got the muscle. And the muscle pulls the enforcers... So, what do they do? They do 5 melee damage unless their player discards a card. You know what? Oh wait, one card? Uh, yeah, sure, I can get rid of one of these utility belts. Save a little bit of damage. Alright, so let's go ahead and get out a stun bolt and just start dealing damage. Um, oh, right. That's not going to do any... Does it actually have to hit the target? It doesn't. Excellent. Okay, so we're actually going to hit the muscle. Because the muscle will deal zero damage this way. Alright, Team Leader Tachyon starts off with pushing the limits into burst. And then everybody, draw some cards. Uh, choose for me. Uh, we're we're going to be drawing cards all day, every day, the entire game, pretty much. All right, throw out the motivational charge, and everybody deals plus one damage. Uh, let's see, what was this one? This one was the when target leaves play, draw three and destroy it. That's not what I want. Here we go. So the ultimate target. Increases damage Chrono Ranger deals to a target by one. And the first time that target deals damage each turn, I get or Chrono Ranger gets to use a power. It's one of Chrono Ranger's more powerful bounties. Alright, so there is Absolute Zero's first. And it doesn't matter, he can't do anything right now while that uh, isolation field is in play. Or this offensive displacement, rather. Oh, look, lockdown goes away. Alright. Everybody 
Just taking some damage, undivided attention. Oh look, Chrono Ranger triggers. And shoot the operative. So the informant needs to go, and I do not have a method of getting rid of it just yet, so we're going to have a bunch of stuff. Alright, attack the muscle again. Oh, I actually deal plus one damage. Whoops. Oh well. Uh, yes, Tachyon wants to hit herself for two damage, but we'll... Actually, we'll redirect it to the informant. Even though I lose pushing the limits, it gets rid of the informant. Operative is gonna tag somebody in retaliation, and then Chrono Ranger gets to shoot the operative. Alright, so now let's. Uh, hypersonic. Everybody's gonna take some damage except for the chairman, because he is immune to damage while he is face up. And then let's all draw some cards. Chrono Ranger. He is a time traveling bounty hunter, so. Well, time traveling sheriff. Alright, so. Operative can't deal damage right now. So, let's just flying smash. Get rid of the broker. Um, tag the muscle. And we'll tag an enforcers. And galvanize. Because damage is good. Uh, no, that's not the card that I want. Um, there's no bounties in the trash. Now, let's just kill on sight for the muscle. So that way Chrono Range can draw a whole bunch of cards. Okay, so we have... Actually, we have three of, or of uh, Absolute Zero's four equipment, so that's good. I don't have an easy way of getting rid of them, though. That's the problem. And there's Char. <laughs> He's going to be fun if he survives around. Oh, look, the fence. Discard a card because you can't deal damage. Still don't need to discard a card. Oh. I need that thief to stay in play for at least three more turns. That's kind of bothersome, actually. Damage. Okay. Put out a utility belt. Stun bolt the enforcers. Them. And then shield the wraith, so she takes less damage next time she gets hit. Alright. Um, hmm. Okay, 
three burst cards in the trash. I only have one card play this turn, so we'll just throw out... Oh, I should not have Hypersonic Assaulted. Oh well. Because now that I Hypersonic Assaulted, that's going to kill the Thief. Well, actually, that's okay, because the, the fence is just going to pull the Thief right back out, and I don't want two Thieves in play. draw some cards. We all like drawing cards. Oh, there's the last of Absolute Zero's equipment, so that's even better. Alright. Uh, so we will start off with Eye on the Prize. Tag the Enforcers. Sudden Contract lets me get a uh, bounty from my deck into play. Uh, hmm. Well, let's put that into play. Put that on the Hired Gun. And then tag the contract to put him below 4 HP. And then we'll shoot the hired gun, killing him. And oh look, whole gang lets me then take out the contract. So that's three underbosses dead. <laughs> Unfortunately, Operative keeps healing. She's going the wrong way. I need her to stop healing. Alright, get out the cryo chamber and not do anything this turn. Okay, the Warden comes out. He's not going to do anything. He's going to get shanked by the Imprisoned Rogue. Chairman's awake. Oh, you son of a... <laughs> and that's all of them. Oh, man. This is... Okay. So... We... We're in a bit of a pickle. Alright, uh, let's get rid of Absolute Zero's Cryo Chamber. Oh, jeez, so much damage! Uh, Tachyon has infinite cards in her hand that she can get rid of. Get rid of one of these HUD goggles. Okay. <laughs> We're in trouble. <gasps> Holy crap. Um, what do you do? Destroy the inmate with the lowest HP. Destroy the agent with the highest HP. Um, Alright. Uh, what do I do here? Oh, cry, but I need to do some something else. Doesn't matter. You can oh no, you can do damage. Mm. Get rid of you. And then stun bolt. The informant. Get her rid of her. Okay, so now we need to play 
HUD goggles. Oh man, this is... Um, oh, there's only one burst card in the trash, so I can't even do anything meaningful. Why do you only have one burst in your trash? Damn it, Tachyon. No, I have to keep the thief in play. Well, do I? Actually, you know what? Let's get rid of the thief. somebody well, that's the only one that's gonna be anything meaningful so let's tag the crooked cop and then for my second play will be a light a really really pathetic three damage light speed barrage um, actually First, let's get a displaced armory. Search the deck. Get Jim's hat. Jim's hat lets me play extra cards per turn. And then I get to shoot something for one damage. Get rid of this stupid crooked cop. So now we're going to quick shot. And tag the operative. I need to get her out of here. It's, it's the long and short of it. Um, what is this? Two melee and one projectile. This will let me kill the fence. But I need the fence in play because I need him to keep bringing back the thief. Mm -hmm. What I really need to do is I need to get rid of the contract. Or get rid of the muscle. Not the muscle, the... the, um, the yeah, the contact. Displaced Armory. Search my deck for the... Hmm. One bounty in play. Actually, yeah, the Neurotoxin Dart Thrower is not a bad idea. And then we can tag the Broker, because she needs to go. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to modular realignment to bring back the null point calibration unit into play. Do it again. And then Char's gonna do a whole bunch of damage. 
Oh right, he is immune to. Uh, he is immune to environment, so we can't get him. We can't convince him to take out the environment. Oh, oh son of! It's gonna kill the. All right, dart thrower. I need operative. Please, please deal less damage. I don't think I'm winning this one. Oh man, this is a lot of damage. Wow. Well, that happened. damage. Yeah, we're, we're not winning this one. We are not winning this one, folks. <laughs> oh. Wow. Well. Um. Legacy heal. Anything you can even play right now, dude? Um, sure, bolster. See if you draw anything relevant. Let's see here. Oh, you have like absolutely nothing you can do. Oh, let's just. Put us out of our misery. Oh, he has damage reduction because of the stupid crooked cop. Punching legacy, keep on punching. There's only an incredibly slim chance that you actually manage to survive the next round. Uh, the hired gun has the lowest health, sure. was a abject failure. Let's, um, well, we'll try that again with a different team. Well, that, that's kind of what happens with the chairman. Like, you get him flipped and he and then he throws prison break out there, you're done. Because once he flips, he gives all of the thugs a damage bonus equal to the number of heroes minus two. And so that turns the hired gun into a complete massacre, since it already hits everybody, for, to begin with. And the contract makes everybody take extra damage, too. So, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a little painful. Alright, we're still going to try to do the double unlock of Wraith and Absolute Zero. Actually, what I should have done is I should have brought Visionary with me to begin with. Because Visionary has the whole... Uh, one of her cards is, Shuffle a discard pile into its deck. 
And if I can get that card in my opening hand, then I almost instantly win against the chairman because all of his underbosses pull the thugs from the discard to the play, not from the deck to play. Uh, let's also... We're still going to bring along Team Leader because we need to draw cards. And actually, let's bring Unity. Uh, we're going to try and get Unity's Unlock for this. Uh, what Unity's Unlock is, is that she has to survive the game with more bots than she has hit remaining hit points. So, like, if she is at five hit points, she needs to have six or more mechanical golems in play. Let's not go to the block this time. Let's go to... Ugh. Need a tame... Mars base? Mars base might not actually be a bad idea because of Meteor Storm. If I can get a Meteor Storm in play, I can just sit under it and build up because all Chairman can do is just damage. He can't... Uh, I mean, yeah, he can blow up ongoings and equipments with the uh, with the Thief, but that's his only de uh, like card destruction. So, let's see what happens. Alright. Do we have Brain Burn? We do not. Let's hope Tachyon can get us to a Brain Burn. We do, however, have an impromptu invention, so that means... Oh, uh oh Ugh. And, of course, the fence, right off the bat, gets the thief. Okay, so we need... Hmm. Alright, I have a plan. Maybe. Uh, we'll start off with the Razor Ordinance, however. Put that into play. Throat Jab. The Operative. She doesn't need that throat. More importantly, now she can't deal damage. Which means that I can throw my knives at the thief, and the operative can't do anything about it. Because she does not like me killing villain targets. Alright, what do we have? What do we have? We have HUD goggles, and not a whole lot else. Oh, this is bad. Alright, draw some cards. Got Scrappling Hook. Okay, that's useful. Fleet of Foot. That's very useful. Hasty Augmentation. That's useful. Cocoon is good. And Modular Realignment. That's... meh. Alright. Unity... Well, we're... So, here's the great thing about the game. There is no competitive aspect to this game. It is 100% cooperative. Each player takes a hero. The villain deck is autopilot. The environment deck is autopilot. 100% cooperative. You do not play against each other. You you have to help each other. Uh, now, as for what I'm going to be doing, let's go ahead and just get a supply crate out there. Draw some cards. And then we will hack the crate and get a V-Bot out there. I really hate the fence. <laughs> Thing needs to die. <sighs> Alright. Did you get... Oh, you did not get a brain burn. Why didn't you get a brain burn? Let's throw out the moralization and draw some cards. Uh, don't need a levitation. Don't need any levitations. Let's throw out the cryo chamber. Uh, what exactly is that? Please don't distribute wares in my channel.
what does this do? This card deals each target two fire damage. Each hero must either destroy one of their ongoings or take two more damage. Oh, okay. Thank you, Leno. So, um, do I want to pitch a card to get rid of the oxygen leak? Yeah, I probably should. Who has cards they can pitch? Um, actually, no, I don't need to pitch cards. Uh, nobody needs to pitch a card. So, let's go. Chairman can't take damage. Operative. Oh, the oxygen leak isn't even going to do anything because, or the, the fire is not going to do anything because of the oxygen leak, so it doesn't even matter. take any more damage because Oxygen Leak says all fire is minus three. What I was going to do was I was going to have it hit the villain targets and then hit the B-Bot and use the B-Bot to blow up the Oxygen Leak, but that kind of isn't going to happen. Oh, and there's the deputy. Great, here we go. Fence brings back the thief. Deputy pulls out the crooked cop and it starts to go downhill. It's prior chamber. Okay, so now we're going to grappling hook the oxygen leak. And then razor ordinance to get rid of the thief. <laughs> And this is how we this is how we lose is because we keep focusing on the thugs instead of the underbosses. Uh, let's see here. Well, let's plead a foot. Get everybody to draw some cards. Ooh, a raptor bot. That's good. Let's get rid of that villainous weaponry. Pain on my ass. And throw out the research grant. Not that it matters, but everybody's gonna draw some cards. Like, I have almost no reason to ever use the research grant unless everyone's entire deck is in their hands, except for Tachyon. Alright, so Unity. Um, Zero doesn't have anything in play. So, let's just throw out... And... Modular Workbench away the Scrap Metal for Stealth Bot! Stealth Bot is very useful because of the whole, hey, it jumps in the way of stuff! Doesn't matter because Crooked Cop... Alright, so now we are going to... Precog. Um, Alright, I guess we'll just give them healing. And until the operative goes away, deck manipulation on their on the chairman doesn't really do anything. Can I get a brain burn, please? Uh, oh. <laughs> I'll have to check that out after this. Honest Trailers usually does good stuff. Oh, actually I have all of his equipment. Excellent. Uh, not gonna do anything. Alright. No one's discarding cards. Oh! Well, that's awkward. Alright, Operative is going to take one damage. Uh, fence is going to take a damage. Deputy, take one damage. Uh, B-Bot. We do not want to redirect. B-Bot will then... 
Jesus. We'll deal two damage to the crooked. Uh, it doesn't matter if I hit the crooked cop or not. He's just gonna. Yeah, I might as well hit it. I'll be bringing it back, but it will also. Uh, no. Destroy the fire in the biosphere that's currently triggering. No, we're not redirecting any damage. No one's destroying anything. Now we have to kill the informant. Redirect to Stealth Bot, which then redirects back to Unity. So... Oh, there we go. Oh, but it's... Crooked Cops are in play, so that's not going to be able to do anything. That's annoying. Well, it'll stop... Actually, it won't stop anything, because none of the characters that can be damaged... Alright, um... Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother. Just everybody draw cards. they'll be the lowest health, which means Stealth Bot, we won't be able to smoke bomb Stealth Bot. I think I'm okay with this. Because this will let me get two golems into play. Um, discard this extra modular workbench, throw out the platform bots, and then we will bot hack my workbench to get out Raptor Bot. Now we are going to kill the fence, because that thing needs to go away. And kill... Or, well... Tag the Crooked Cop for four damage. Crooked Cop. Yes, redirect to Stealth Bot. Stealth Bot has the lowest HP. Eh, it doesn't matter. Okay, um... Hmm. What are my... decisions? Yeah, Zero's not really doing anything, because I need him to get his stuff into play and then blow it up, so he can't really do anything over the course of this game, which sucks. Uh, what do we have here? 
I'm really glad I just played this, because otherwise we would have been hit with a pervasive red dust, and it would have been horrible. Um, so let's get the maintenance level on top, I guess. Put red dust on the bottom. I just know that the second card down is going to be the red dust. And it's going to make me very sad. Mass Levitation... Alright, Transducer into play... Tag himself for one fire... We do not want to redirect... Transducer reacts... And... Kill the Thief. Yes, stealth bot is lowest. Uh, doesn't matter. Alright, who has cards in their hand? Wraith has a bunch of cards she can discard, so we're going to do that. Uh, she can get rid of this targeting computer, and this... Mega computer. Alright, maintenance level. Maintenance level is gonna play. That's about as bad. Okay. There's the meteor storm. Alright. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm okay with it. Well, I'm kind of okay with this because this means that. Since the the fence is still in play, it's still gonna keep it's gonna keep pulling thieves, and I'm gonna be losing two cards a turn to these thieves. So this is going to get actually really awkward. Everybody's immune to damage. Oh uh, no, we are not gonna we are not skipping turns at all. So, let's just start putting stuff into play. It's really all I can do. Um, and start preventing damage to the Wraith. No, we're not skipping turns. Um... Oh! <laughs> I can actually destroy stuff. Doesn't matter. Get rid of that informant. You need to go away. I forgot, Tachyon has Sucker Punch. It's actually... <laughs> For once, it's not a terrible card. in play, so let's just draw some cards. Ooh, there's a bot. Ooh, there's a... Well, it's a brainstorm, so that's good. Doesn't matter, because they're all immune to damage. Zero, you have an equipment in play, so Unity is going to turn that equipment into another Raptor bot. going to take a while. We're not skipping turns. Hmm. So, what are my options here? One 
hand, one top, one bottom. It's actually worse than using her base... Well, kind of. It digs one card deeper. Yeah, we'll go ahead and use Foresight. So, there's Brain Burn. Uh, put that on top... Not skipping turn, we are still not skipping turn, so I just need null point calibration, and once this null point calibration gets blown up, that will be all four of Zero's equipment, and then I can actually start playing this game. Uh, yes, we all want to shuffle our trash into our decks. Well, Zero d kinda didn't want to, because I could use his module re uh, realignment to get them back out. But, that maintenance level needs to go away. Well, the good news is, I no longer have to worry about uh, Zero's weapon getting blown up. I really hate that card. Okay. Oh, look, another prison break. Research grants. Okay, so a bunch of things have happened. All right, we've got. Um, let's see here. All right, let's get the targeting computer into play. matter who has the highest health, because they're all immune to damage. <laughs> okay, well, the good news is... The <laughs> I no longer have to worry about the underbosses pulling thugs from the trash into play. The bad news is, all the underbosses are in play. Um... one of the meteor storms. Jeez. This way, when I'm ready to actually, you know, go off... Skipping turn. Jeez, I have no idea if I'm gonna have enough damage to 
deal with all this crap and survive the resulting insanity that will follow. Um, all right, fact of the matter is, I need to get that out. Uh, do I want to put Cryobot into play? That's the question. No. Unfortunately, the game starts chugging once there's a once a board fills up. Actually, be a bad idea because I could put that on the muscle and have the muscle start punching out. Yeah, actually, we'll do that. Um... So put rest the mind on the muscle. Oh geez, Final Fantasy VII on his trailer? Or is that Evan Children? Let's see. Oh, now it's giving me all the brain burns when I no longer need it. skipping the turn. That's the last thing I need is zero to uh The game is available on Steam, and you can also get it on Android or iOS. Realignment. Put that into play. cold. Oh, Meteor Storm keeps him from being able to heal himself. That's a little awkward. Jeez, the self-destruct sequence is coming up pretty soon. Yes, everyone wants to discard a card. Because everyone has equipment they want to put on the into play. Uh, what do you already have? You have the computer. Oh wait, you have stuff in your discard that I want in play. Tachyon wants to get rid of uh, research grants. Unity would like to get rid of this construction pylon. Visionary doesn't actually have any equipment that she wants to get rid of, but this mental divergence is unnecessary. And Zero can get rid of pitch the transducer. Alright, rates will get back smoke bombs, because that's way more important. Uh, Tachyon doesn't... Oh, she only has her HUD goggles, so Unity gets back her construction pylon, and Zero gets back his transducer. Oh, she didn't have HUD. Alright, whatever. Lot of 
blah de blah de blah Can't deal damage, no one cares. Uh, it is not on good old games as far as I'm aware. I believe they might be putting it on at some point, but I haven't heard anything. Yes, everyone wants to shovel their trash in their deck. Get rid of the maintenance level. Because otherwise, I believe, if I remember correctly, I put self-destruct on the bottom of the deck. Or I didn't. Oh man, when I finally break this Meteor Swarm, <laughs> it's going to get weird. Alright, we'll get rid of this Demoralization, because I'm tired of clearing through 15 targets. Alright, the last fence is still in the deck, so that's good. We are not skipping turn. We are still not skipping turn. Okay. Uh, let's get the utility belt into play, and there's the last thief. Okay, still not skipping turn. Quick insight. Oh no, I need to keep that. Um, hmm. Keep hypersonic salt. Or I need to find blinding speeds so that I can blow up environment cards without actually, you know, triggering or without actually requiring to do what I'm supposed to be doing for it. Not skipping turns. What we are doing. I still have the good. I have the construction pylon in play. Um, just brainstorm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rook City is yours. Big deal. No one cares. Ooh, turret bot. Oh, jeez. Uh, 
Oh. Come on. Scroll. Scroll to the end. I know it's a lot. There we go. No damage. And then we're going to put two golems into play. Let's get B-Bot out there and turret bot. That's nice. Don't care. lot to render. Okay, uh, we're not skipping turn, we're not skipping turn. We are, however, uh, we're going to throw a seemingly useless and completely unnecessary twist ether on the operative, because it is a card that I can blow up to get rid of it. Another option would have been to throw it on absolute zero, because he can, uh, basically I can turn whatever damage he takes into cold to heal him, or rather whatever damage he deals to himself or to other, uh, into cold, to either heal him or boost him. turn. We are not skipping turn. Uh, does not have his aperture, so let's throw out the cryo chamber. I'm not putting out cold snap yet until I have the focused apertures. Sonic. Doesn't matter. Don't care. Uh, you're gonna deal infernal damage this time. Okay. Uh, no powers. Alright. Oxygen leaks not dealing any damage because there's nothing in the... There is nothing in the stupid uh, environment discard because Chairman keeps playing the stupid cards. Yeah, yeah, he is. So I think next turn I'm going to break the Meteor Storm, and I'm just going to unload as much damage as possible and clear out the entire board. Everyone wants to shovel their trash into their deck. If 
Fast forward is a wonderful thing. <laughs> Yes, we want to shuffle our trash into our decks. No one's discarding anything. I really hate that card. Hit skip. All right. Um, so cards I can destroy. I can get rid of Cryo Chamber. I can get rid of Utility Belts. I can get rid of the HUD goggles. I can get rid of all little parts. And I can get rid of the targeting computer. Alright. So, Chairman's gonna do stupid stuff, because that's what the Chairman does. And here we go. Oh, right. There's two meteor storms. I forgot about that. Oh, this is bad. There is a very real possibility that the Mars base is going to just explode, and I might just die. <sighs> if I can't deal with this self-destruct countdown. <laughs> uh, Alright, rest of the mind we can get rid of... With the eth or no foresight, we can get rid of. Okay, um, doesn't matter. Everybody's taking damage, or nobody's taking damage rather. Okay, um, let's see here. Can Wraith actually do anything meaningful if she's? She actually has nothing meaningful she can do, so she's going to skip her turn. Does Tachyon... Oh, Tachyon actually does have meaningful plays, so Tachyon will not skip her turn. Alright, let's start off with a... Reflexes. Foot. Oh, stupid informants. Such a pain in the neck. Can I get a blinding speed? No. Well, it's a sucker punch. That's almost as good, actually. Alright, so the question is do I play the sucker punch? Yes, we play the sucker punch. I 
I, I, I don't know why I wasn't expecting this to happen. Uh, wait. Oh, there's my bot. Okay. So the plan was to blow up the Bebot and use the Bebot to get rid of the second uh, Meteor Storm. Except Monsignor Chairman decided that he would play the other one. So instead, what we're going to do is... Uh, let's see... We're going to get rid of the Pervasive Red Dust. Oh wait, if I get rid of the Pervasive Red Dust, it's just going to replay the stupid thing. Um... Alright, we'll just get rid of me. Screw it. Uh, and let's just draw a card. Well, there's a reason why the term is considered one of the hardest villains in the game. Okay, we're not skipping our turn. Actually, I probably should have skipped the turn just because of the stupid countdown. Is there only one... Uh, yeah, there's only one in play. I'm not skipping my... I'm not skipping the rest of the turn. Actually, you know what? You know what? No, we're... we're... Okay, so we've realized that... Not skipping the turn... Or skipping... We realize that trying to do stuff during our turn means absolutely nothing, so we're just going to skip the turn. Get rid of that Meteor Storm and try... Not skipping turn. So two of those cards are meteor storms. So what we're going to do is eventually scroll over far enough to get to kill an informant. Reduced by one. Yes. Lightning. Reduced by one. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Holy crap. I did not realize it would be dealing that much damage. Oh, uh, whoops. Alright, oh. Uh, Deals three melee damage, and there's only oh the villainous weaponries. I forgot about those guys. Everything's in play. Ick. It's really gross, actually. Hmm. Well, if I play a card, he's just going to play Rook City as mine. I don't think I have a choice in the matter. I 
the fact of the matter is, I need to get as much damage on board as possible. Let's... Wait, do I still have a brainstorm? I do have a brainstorm. Okay, we'll brainstorm. Switch it to fire. Increase it by one. Huh? Wait, what? Why did it? Uh, did... Oh! <laughs> Oxygen leak! Forgot about that. Holy crap. Uh, that's melee. Ugh. Tag Unity with it. She needs her health reduced anyway. Alright, Power Shockwave and Platform Bots. Um, so, our first target to hit will actually be the B-Bot. So, show all. Oh, boy. Uh, come on, come on. Scroll... <laughs> So, there is a chance that I can pull this off. Alright, where is my B-Bot? Where is my... There you are. Tag. Uh, you take effect first. Alright. Now... So, Operative hits the highest health hero whenever a villain target is destroyed. Operative currently has Twist the Aether on her. Absolute Zero is the highest health hero. Absolute Zero absorbs cold damage. So, we're going to... We're going to have a little bit of fun here. Um, alright, uh, let's get rid of this pervasive red dust, and get back some equipment, like that utility belt, Tachyon's HUD goggles, Unity's volatile parts, sure, and Absolute Zero's cryo chamber. Alright, so now we have two more damage... well, yeah, two more packets of one damage to deal. So... I think... doesn't really matter too, too much where I put them. Uh, let's tag the thieves, because I need these guys out of here. Alright, so... We're going to slowly and desperately try to get back into this game. I can't promise it will actually work. Oh, jeez. Um... Okay, so Unity now has her powers phase. We're going to... Bot hack. Get rid of the volatile parts. And... Yeah, don't care. Don't care. Uh, do I want Cryobot or Platform Bot in the play? I think Platform Bot is the better choice. Alright, so draw your card. Where the hell is Swift Bot? Why hasn't she gotten here yet? Okay. Um... rid of this hired... Actually, no, we're gonna get... Yeah, get rid of the hired gun. Because... Zero should be able to deal with thieves. Zero is just going to heal for a whole bunch. And actually... 
Um, on the environment turn, we're going to have a whole b uh, It's going to... Or the, those oxygen leaks are just going to clear out everything. So, that will make things also interesting. Alright. Raptor bots are going to eat the crooked cops. So, actually, Chairman's going to flip on his turn. Is the next card a prison break? I can't remember. Uh, let's see. What, what does he still have in his deck? He has Perfect Specimen. He does not have... Oh, no, he does. He has two prison breaks. Crap. So both Crooked Cops are dead, which means now the underbosses and operative take normal damage. Um, let's tag this hired gun. So can we actually... No. <laughs> Absolute Zero has so much fire damage reduction on him, he cannot take fire damage. We are not skipping turn. So the next question is, do I want Visionary to bottom the thugs that I just killed? I think I do, actually. I'm just going to take some damage, but it's better than leaving them in play. This way they won't come back out next turn. Alright, so... Zero is not skipping turn. We have three turns for the... Uh, or three turns for the self-destruct. Uh, let's go... Module installation... enough boosters to make that worthwhile. So let's just throw a cold snap. And he can't hit himself, so skip the powers phase. Because he takes significantly less than zero fire damage. Alright, so... Now, everybody's going to be taking a bunch of toxic damage from the oxygen leak. I was going to kill all my bots. Ugh. Actually, not only is this going to kill all my bots, it's going to kill Visionary and Unity, too, I think. Yeah, because of the contract. Well, actually, maybe not. Because I can, if I can kill the contract with the second Oxygen Leak, the third one might not uh, actually kill Unity. It's going to kill the Visionary. Visionary's done. Which sucks. But that's okay, she can blow up environment targets with her flip side. Or environment cards. So... That will have to suffice. Oh, 
Oh, right, Synaptic Interruption lets Tachyon avoid a shot. Um, oh, that will let me redirect and kill the contract. Oh, I wish I would have thought of that. Oh, yeah, we're gonna... Let's, let's fix that. Okay, try that again. So... Alright, first things first, we're hitting the fence. The fence has to die. Because if the fence... Uh, if the fence survives, then the redirect is just going to heal... Well, it doesn't really matter. If I just have the operative hit last anyway. Okay. Oh, I don't think we're going to be able to unlock Golem Unity this game, which sucks. But I might still be able to unlock uh, Freedom Six Wraith. Zero can take damage because he doesn't care. He's just going to heal it back anyway. Oh, I need to make sure he doesn't go too low, because otherwise the operative's going to stop pointing at him. I killed the broker. Ah, that was bad. And there's the contract. Slowly but surely, we're we're clearing through this lag. The chairman might actually have a reasonable board by the end of this. I just know he's going to play a prison break as soon as he flips, and I'm just going to get wrecked by the hired gun. play now. Parse, that's right. Bugger. Doesn't matter anymore. Alright, here we go again. 
Um, so we start off with the fence. Get out of here. And then it doesn't matter what order the rest of the damage is dealt in. Oh, actually, it kind of did. I needed absolute zero to take damage first. Oops. calculated pretty badly that's right it's based on the number of cars in the environment trash well so much for unity uh, nobody's pitching cards because the fire in the biosphere can't actually do damage Who has cards to discard? Yeah, we're we're gonna be pitching some cards. Um, we need to get rid of these. <laughs> oh man, we took so much damage. Does Tachyon have anything worth discarding? No, not really. Zero doesn't either. Oh well, yeah, he does. Okay. Zero can get rid of Sub-Zero Atmosphere. So, this is a card that's really awkward. It makes villain cards act at the start of the turn instead of the end of the turn, which sometimes can be really good, but usually doesn't. Uh, let's see... Skip. Oh well. All right. What you got? You flipped. Prison break. Calling it now. Ha! <laughs> I hate you so much. Destroying Cryo Chamber. Uh, that's a very good question. Um, I don't honestly know. That, that's the thing with fighting the chairman, is, is that there is. It, it can very easily go either way. Like, e either... There could be... He could win... He could just windmill slam the win at any point. Right now, I'm... Semi-stabilized? But if he plays... Uh, if he plays a Rook City as mine or something like that off the top, there, it's a very good chance that I might just instantly lose. Especially considering he just got all five of his underbosses back into play. And I need to clear them all once again. Um... Like, I'm... I will honestly be surprised if I can win this within the next half hour, at minimum. But, we're gonna give it a shot and see how far we get. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. We're not skipping turns. We are not skipping turns. We are...
<laughs> well, oh, there's a grappling hook. Could have used that forever ago. Alright, um... Let's see, Nimble Strike, just a poke. What do we get? Quick Insight. Um, actually going to have to use that just to draw into... There's the Sucker Punch. And get rid of Sonic Vortex. Let's draw some cards. Oh, I have another card play. Um, hmm. Alright, well, let's Sucker Punch the Thief. Skipping turn. What are my options? I think one of them is a card play? Yes! Alright, Wraith! Play that grappling hook, you just... Actually, no. Play your impromptu invention. And then... We'll put out... Razor Ordnance. Into play. And then play your grappling hook. Get rid of that meteor storm. <laughs> I believe it. Alright, we are not skipping turn. So, destroy an environment. Get rid of the self destruct! to do. Um, what's in my discard? Cryo chamber. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Um, Alright, thermal shockwave. We will hit... <laughs> oh, the hired guns are already dead. Alright. So let's hit the operative. Oh no, Visionary's dead. That means I can no longer have zero tank the operative. Crap. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh. Well... That almost ended very poorly. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. We need. We need to. We need to pitch cards. Uh. Who is going to pitch? I think Tachyon should. Uh. Yeah. Oh, crap. Well, you might get your wish. We might be dead pretty soon. Uh, well, prison break is better than no prison break, I guess. There's an informant. Forcers, no crooked cop. There's a thief. Alright, so, uh, let's get rid of one of these extra transducers. And this extra transducer. And blow up. Ooh. Any of these 
combat stance, I guess? Yeah. Oh man, can I get out of this? That informant is going to be the end of me. Start with a Sonic Vortex. Got a bunch of targets to hit. Get rid of the broker so we don't have to deal with informants anymore. Alright, get rid of the thief. Uh, punch the fence. Forcers. Another Enforcers... Muscle... The Operative... And then Hypersonic Assault down the rest. Oh look, the Chairman can't hit back because Hypersonic Assault says screw you. Jackass. Oh yeah, the, the chairman counterattacks the first time you hit him each uh, turn. Uh, yeah, first time the chairman is dealt damage each turn, the chairman deals the source of that damage, X melee damage, where X is the number of heroes minus two. On advanced mode, it's equal to the number of heroes. This is why we don't play the chairman on advanced. All right, what do we have? Uh... <laughs> Sounds about right. Um... Does Wraith have anything she wants to play? Well, that targeting micro-targeting computer would actually be a pretty good idea. Actually, what does Zero have? Zero has... Fire to heal. Actually, um, Absolute Zero should be playing a card because he can play uh, Modular Realignment, get back his Cryo Chamber into play, heal himself for two. can kill the fence. And... I really need to find another focused apertures. Uh, he doesn't have anything to put into play, so we will just whore fire. Tag the muscle. Tag the contract. He hits himself, heals for three, hits himself again, and took one fire, so we'll get rid of. Ugh. 
yeah, I'll let the contract stay in play for another turn, because there's no hired guns for him to pull back. How much cold has he done? Ten cold? That will kill him. Uh... Yeah, I can't... Well, actually, wait a minute. If I thermal shockwave... Yeah, I can thermal... Okay, here we go. So, thermal shockwave, show all targets, tag absolute zero, he takes two damage, or three damage, heals, stop dealing damage, he's now going to take 11 damage, or 10 fire damage, so now I can have him whack himself to heal for 12. So, I basically just netted uh, 4 health by doing that. Actually, 5 health, even better. Absolute Zero is... Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Absolute Zero is very tricky to play. And this is going to kill five? Yes. Alright. Uh, what do we get? We get rid of the smoke bombs. We get rid of the cryo chamber. We get rid of the transducer. HUD goggles. And utility belts. Ugh. And of course an informant shows up. Why wouldn't an informant show up? City, maintenance level, and fire in the biosphere. Okay, that's fine. Get rid of the dust. Uh, Wraith is going to get back her targeting computer. Tachyon gets back her HUD goggles. Zero gets back his transducer. Alright, so now we have plus two projectile damage. You're at six health? Of course you're at six health. Why wouldn't you be at six health? Um, sure. Probably should have just killed the informant. Well, let's do that now. Sucker punch. Not been has not taken damage. Of course you haven't. Why would you have taken damage? Um, oh, I need to get rid of that fire in the biosphere, don't I? No, I can't take da I can't take any more damage. Also, Visionary takes care of fire in the biosphere, so that's good. Uh, so Tachyon is going to play some Fleet of Foots, see about dealing some damage. We're just going to clear the fire in the biosphere. Just so that I don't have to deal with it. And 
visionary is going to kill the contract. Oh, we finally get the focused apertures. Okay, so how much cold have you dealt? Three. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Tag himself for eight, co eight fire. No, nine fire, because the. Uh, that's right. Cryo chamber is no longer in play. Okay. So we'll tag you. Get rid of you. Uh, tag the operative. And himself. Himself for seven fire. And then heal for eight. Yes, we are shuffling. I don't care if it resets Tachyon's bursts. Yay! Okay. Now I need Wraith to deal, like, 30-some damage. Alright. Um... Well, let's start off with Impromptu Invention. Get... for her to get into play. I guess smoke bombs. And then we will throw out a utility belt. And just start DPSing. whole damage to the operative, because I don't really have much else I can do at the moment. Unity wants Absolute Zero to play a card. We will modular realignment. Oh. Crap. Hold on. Back up. Back up. I forgot. Zero shuffled his trash, so I can't get back the cryo chamber. Uh, we're still going to have Zero play a card, though. We're just going to have him play... Onboard Module Installation. Oh, there's his cryo chamber. So, the question is now, do I... Actually, I want him to play Impale. No. Oh, put that in the hand. And then... We will throw out Impale, because Impale is free damage on the operative. At the beginning of his turn, he deals two damage to, or two cold damage, so thanks to Impale, it'll be three cold, or thanks to the Apertures, it'll be three cold damage. Uh, can't do anything there, so we just skip Visionary's turn. Throw out the Cryo 
other chamber. And then we will Thermal Shockwave. Tag operative for two. Oh crap, how much damage have I dealt? Nine. <laughs> okay, we, we can still do this and survive. <laughs> well, let's put it this way. If Absolute Zero falls, I'm dead. 100%. So I need to keep him alive long enough... What does Chairman still have in his deck? Okay, he has no underboss or he has no prison breaks in his deck. That's the important thing. Um, but he does have a bunch of really nasty thugs. Actually, Crooked Cop's not too bad. Uh, I don't really want Rook City as mine to come into play either. But what do we got? Okay. I'm actually okay with him healing. Because that means that that is cards that are not coming into play. Okay. Um, what are we going to do? We are going to throw out a stun bolt. He hits for how much? He... Three, so four with the weaponry, and Tachyon is currently lowest health, so smoke bombs will not let me redirect. So I think what we'll do is we will just unload on the operative. Tag the operative. Try and get something useful. Hypersonic Assault is useful! in play that I can actually grab. Okay, so we'll let Wraith play a card. Get her impromptu invention out. And... put out Throwing Knives into play. And as for her card play... Um, six equipment in play, that'll only deal 12 damage, that's not enough to kill anything. So I think... Actually, we're just going to suit yourself. Get a little bit of health back. Not really enough to be meaningful, but... Oh man, this is rough. Right environment... Okay, uh, choose for me. He can't react. Okay, she's at 16. Uh, actually, I believe that means that Wraith can kill Operative on her next turn. So, what are we going to do here? We are going to... Well, let's chain these module installations. Draw 
draw some extra cards. What's this? Absolute zero deals one non-hero target X cold damage, where X is the amount of fire damage that has been dealt to absolute zero since your last turn. Or since the end of your last turn. Mm, not the best of choices. Let's just throw this on the operative. Alright, how much cold damage have you dealt? You've dealt 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. Okay, we have a game. So that happened. That's okay. That's okay. We can we can recover from this. We're not skipping our turn. We have grappling hooks. Do we have an impromptu invention as well? No, we do not. That's fine. Get rid of that. All right. So Unity is going to let. Wraith uh, kill the operative on. Unity's turn. Oh, man. Nope. <laughs> Getting rid of pushing the limit. Um... What are my options? No options. So we'll skip playing cards. Because I do not want Tachyon to get punched to death by the chairman. Wait, actually... Hold on. If I... He's going to deal three damage to Tachyon. And actually, Tachyon's lowest health, so it's going to get redirected to... Yep, we're doing it. I have three burst cards in my trash. Wow. That's pretty terrible, actually. Okay, so... One player... Oh! That's not what I wanted. It was... Oh, it's draw a card or play a card. It's not use a power. Crap. Um, do I have four damage? Well, okay. So, operative's going to go to one on... No, operative's going to die on zero's turn. Crap. Um... I do not want inventory barrage. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, okay, I've got a plan. We will grappling hook one of the. <laughs> we will grappling hook one of the impales. This is so bad. <laughs> And then Visionary will, will break the other one. So that Absolute Zero doesn't accidentally kill the operative on his turn. Alright, uh, so let's...
let's go ahead and... I need to start beating down the chairman, so let's frostbound... Oh, wait. Uh... Okay, he'll f hit himself, because I'm not paying attention. He'll hit the chairman for two. How much he has dealt four cold damage. Okay. So tag the chairman for another two, so that's six cold damage. And then hit himself. Stop dealing damage, because I don't wanna I don't want to put the operative to one because she might randomly die to fire in the biosphere. Can tag chairman. Zero's at a healthy life total, so he can take a hit. I might actually pull this off. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright, there's an oxygen leak. Don't care. Well, kind of care. Yeah, Zero will pitch a card, because turning off Zero's fire damage means that he can't do his crazy redirects. Okay, so what's going on here? What are you doing, Chairman? Of course you're playing Rook City as mine. Oh, you asshole. Wait. When does Pervasive Red Dust trigger? The end of the environment turn, destroy five... Oh! Huh! Neat! Okay. Um, the problem is, though, now we have a Meteor Storm in play, so that means that... The Wraith cannot... Ugh. Oh, this turn sequence is terrible. One, two, three, four, five, six. We are not going to skip our turn. So here's what's going to happen. We're going to throw out a stun bolt. Um, and then for powers, it's actually just going to skip. Wraith will draw a card. Well, I probably should have just had Wraith use her base... Yeah, actually, we'll... Hold on. We'll, we'll have Wraith use base power. So... Use power. Base power... And... Stun Bolt... Chairman. Even though he's immune to damage, it still does the damage reduction. And this is important because... <laughs> I'm about to do something really stupid. <laughs> really stupid. Yes. Oh, this is going to get awkward. Wraith, play a card. <laughs> Inventory Barrage! <laughs> exactly enough to kill the chairman. <laughs> this is a glitch, because you're not actually supposed to do this until you win, and I can't win while the operative's in play. Oh my... Oh... So now, what I'm going to do with... Because I need to absolutely make sure that the operative survives the next turn, I need to blow up Cold Snap. This is so bad. <laughs> oh 
Um, and then I'm going to... I'm just going to have Zero do absolutely nothing on his turn and draw two cards. And then everybody's going to pitch a card. Uh, Wraith is going to pitch a eyepiece. Tachyon is going to pitch a HUD goggles. And Zero is going to pitch his other cold snap. Um, and then Wraith's going to get back her targeting computer to make sure that she has enough damage to kill the operative. And Zero gets back whatever got blown up. Oxygen leak, nothing happens, don't care. Uh, we're not gonna, because Wraith deals projectile damage, so it's not affected by the leak. Oh, there's the hired gun. Oh, it doesn't matter. The smoke bombs are no longer in play. Oh, man. Come on, come on, come on. Razor Ordnance. The reason I got the targeting computer was just in case the crooked cop came into play. She wouldn't have enough damage reduction to f survive a knife to the face. Oh. We got there, folks. Two and a quarter hours later, we got there. So, that's going to be it for tonight. Thank you all for tuning in. Next week, we're going to try and get the remaining, what is that, three Freedom 6 promos. Have a good night, folks. I'll see you next week.